The object of this video is to explain the concept of the stagnation point. The stagnation point is a point in a flow field where the local velocity of the fluid is zero. It exists at the surface of objects in the flow field where the fluid is brought to rest by the object. For example, in the top right corner we have a diagram of an airplane wing. In the diagram, the fluid flows from left to right. As the fluid flows from left to right, it comes in contact with the airplane wing. Because it is impossible for the air to pass through the airplane wing, the fluid flow must change direction. If the direction of the fluid is diverted at the center of the fluid, where the air meets the airplane wing, the velocity of the air is zero. This is the stagnation point. With knowledge of Bernoulli's equation, which states that the total pressure is equal to the dynamic pressure plus the static pressure, we can deduce that the static pressure at the stagnation point is at its maximum value. The pitot tube takes advantage of the concept of the stagnation point. A pitot tube has two holes. One is in the center of the beginning of the pitot tube, aligned to the axes. This hole measures the total pressure. It is placed in the field of airflow so that airflow hits it head on. The second hole is on the underside of the pitot tube. It is open to the environment and records the static pressure. The static pressure is the pressure on the container wall. Using Bernoulli's equation, the dynamic pressure of the airflow around the pitot tube can be calculated by subtracting the static pressure from the total pressure. There are many applications of the pitot tube. Pitot tubes are used in airplanes and they can also be used in wind tunnels. By placing the head of the pitot tube into the incoming airflow, total pressure is measured and static pressure is measured. The difference of these can be used to find the dynamic pressure. At the tip of the pitot tube, where the hole that calculates total pressure is placed, a stagnation point is created. As you place the pitot tube into the incoming airflow, the air comes into contact with the pitot tube and is forced to change its direction. As the air is forced to change its direction, the velocity at the center of the pitot tube is zero.